Hello everybody, it's me again, the Make It Master. Today I'm trying something a little bit different. I do not have a tutorial. So I've been making stuff since I was probably 13. And I only started my YouTube channel six months ago. And I've got lots of stuff that I haven't shown on the channel before that I don't have tutorials for, so that'll be today. So this is my grand display case for, well, most of the cool stuff that I've made that I want to display and don't just want to store. Starting off at cube one, we've got the Doom Guys helmet. So this thing is made almost completely with cardboard. The lens is just some clear, flexible plastic that I found. But the whole thing is cardboard. I tried to follow a specific pattern for it that I found on the internet but it turned out being an odd shape, so I had to squash it down and reshape it. But this does actually fit my head. It is incredibly uncomfortable, and I think it's starting to split open at the back. But maybe if you guys like it, I can do an updated tutorial on it, where I make one that is actually more comfortable. Cube 2, we have a tactical military helmet, which was supposed to be for a short film that never really got off the ground. So this whole thing is made from EVA foam, again with the exception of the lens, and this on the side, which is an old Tic Tac box, put a few screws in for some detail. And this one is actually quite comfortable to wear. And again, I don't have a tutorial for it, but if you'd like, maybe I can make one. Moving on to cube three, we have my Terminator prop collection. So, when I was really young, my friends and I made a Terminator movie. We even made a whole poster for it. I don't want to put the videos on the channel because it's full of copyright music because I didn't know about copyrighted music back then. But all the props stay the same. I have a fully metal Terminator arm, which I welded. And then my big old Terminator head. And this is mostly cardboard. I used some sticks for the pistons, some cables for the, well, cables. And the eyes are actually two thumbtacks. Another part about the Terminator head that I really like is this tiny little memory chip, which I made from a real circuit board. And it goes into the top of his head. So the idea was that this would come out of, come flying out of an explosion because this is supposed to be Arnie. And then John Connor takes his memory chip and they're able to make another one of him. Cube 4 is my Predator Cube. So another Arnie film that I got obsessed with and made short films of. So this was the helmet that I wore. And... Here's the knife. I think this knife is from Predator vs. Alien, the first one. And fun fact, I actually did kind of get stabbed with this a little bit while we were making our second Predator short film. So here is the full Predator mask that I wore. I just used rope for the dreads, which kind of matches the new Prey movie, I guess, because it had like long stringy things instead of the big thick snakes the jungle one had. I got the idea for the bone from the Predators movie, and this actually just attaches the Velcro so that it can come off. So the bone and the whole mask are made of EVA foam. And the cool part is... Oh uh, yeah. So I put wire in the mandibles so that the mouth can open to some degree. And the mask attaches to the face with Velcro, which I've managed to hide in his eyebrows. So, you can't see very well out of it once you've got the whole thing on, because you're looking through tiny slits here, and then through these. I ran into a lot of trees when we were making our movie. Moving on, we have my helmet box. You may recognize the Deathstroke helmet, which I have a tutorial on. Next, we have my very first attempt at making Jason's mask, which turned out adorable. Next is my red stroke mask. So this is half red hood and half death stroke. 
so yeah it's a pretty solid helmet but it's made essentially exactly the same way as my deathstroke helmet so it's not too different it's basically just the paint and then at the back we have my first attempt at making a mask in general this was the very first mask type helmet thing i ever made plastic was way too thick and i couldn't get it to mold right so I ended up having to plastic weld all up the front of the face. And this was meant to be um, crossbones from Captain America, Winter Soldier. I can't remember the dude's name, but you know who I'm talking about. Next, we have my half face masks, which I made for fun during COVID because mask mandates and stuff. So this is a variation on the Mortal Kombat mask. Very thin foam. I believe there are templates for that out on the internet if anyone's interested. This one is made from the same kind of plastic that my full face helmets are made of. It's some um, just a bit of a thinner plastic so it bends and it's probably by far my favorite one in here because of the way it looks when I wear a balaclava with it. Then there's another version of that. So these are called Mempo masks and they were the Japanese masks worn by samurai so that um, when children went into battle, because the samurai actually did that, they'd train them from a young age. They wore these so that older men wouldn't target the younger children because they would hide their age. So this one, I tried to go for the same design, but it was very difficult to get the shape that I wanted with cardboard. And I ended up with quite a clumsy, awkward thing that looks ridiculous when I wear it. And then at the back, we have Bucky Barnes Winter Soldier Mask. This one is very floppy. It only really looks good when you wear it. And no, I'm not going to do that. I also made the glasses to go with it. Next, we have my gun cube. So these are all the little handguns I've made. This was like a small steampunk type pistol that I made. It was supposed to be for a friend, but I ended up keeping it. So it's just a bent nail for the trigger, bolts for the tip, and I had a cool idea of using bike chain for the handle grip, which makes it incredibly uncomfortable. Next we have my big heavy revolver. At first this was supposed to crack open and remove the cylinder and stuff, but I ended up ditching that idea. So I ended up with this instead. It's still pretty cool, but it's really heavy. Next is my flintlock Jack Sparrow pistol, which is very skew. I think I dropped it or something, but yeah, that I wear with my Jack Sparrow costume. If you want to see that, leave a comment down below and I'll do a whole video where I make something dressed as Jack Sparrow. Next is my, I don't even know what gun this is supposed to be, but 911, I think. It's made, of com made completely of EVA foam with a removable magazine which looks fake. And then at the back, there is my attempt at um, Rick Grimes' Colt Python from The Walking Dead, but turned out really ugly, and yeah, it's horrible and I hate it. So I will probably do a tutorial in the future on how to make a better one of these. A nicer one. One that Rick Grimes can use to kill walkers. Next we have more full face masks. So this one is a gas mask that I made, because who doesn't love a good gas mask? And this one, it doesn't look great, but it actually works to some degree. So these filters are bottles that I made with um, cotton balls, charcoal. So theoretically, this will work. It has a oral nasal cup and foam lining for around the eyes. So it looks ugly, but it should work in theory. Next is my Army of Two mask. So this, I think I already have a tutorial on a mask similar to this one, but this was the first model and it's pretty solid. I didn't make the second one the same way as I made this one because I ran out of the exact type of uh, plastic. So, yeah. Next is just a very simple mask. Again, melted plastic formed to my face. 
and I have a tutorial on that one if you want to go watch it. Next we have my Japanese no mask. So these were masks that were worn by Japanese performers and there's quite a bit of folklore that goes with these masks. First of all, they said if the performer who was wearing the mask didn't perform well enough and didn't honor the mask, that it would possess them and turn them into an evil spirit. So this particular mask of mine is an Oni. So it's all made completely of cardboard, by the way. So another legend that surrounded these masks was their ability to change expressions during a performance. So I don't know how I managed to do this. I didn't know it at the time that I had done it. But when it's tilted down, it looks angry. Now it looks worried. Angry, worried. So I don't know how I managed to do that without realizing it, but I did. Next is my gadgets case. So if any of you have watched my stalker film, you'll recognize these two, a Geiger counter and an anomaly detector. At the back we have Iron Man's arc reactor, which is literally just made from the top of a bottle, sorry, the bottom of a bottle, copper wire and an old drain plug. This bomb at the front is actually just aluminium pipes, a broken display from a CD player, and more copper wire. The C4 bundle is a block of wood wrapped in a garbage bag and duct tape with scribbles on it. So that's a really quick and easy way to make a prop bomb for a movie, is to take a big object, wrap it in a garbage bag, tape it up, Put a few cables on it and some electrical looking stuff and you'll have a pretty decent looking bomb moving on to the top of my display case there's a bit of stuff to get through so we'll start at this end this was a big mini gun which was supposed to be mounted on um the roof of a vehicle for the movie that helmet was supposed to be in but again never got around to it a broken version of a broken smaller version of the same mini gun death in the background a double barrel sword of shotgun. It weighs an absolute ton, but it looks really good. It was made in the same way that um, my apocalyptic wooden gun was made. So I'll leave a link to that in the, to t in the description if you want. A little model berserker predator from Predators, the guy who wore that mask. And it's made from rope wrapped around wire and then melted with a heat gun. At the back, we've got our two skulls, Barry and Gary, I think it was. Got a tutorial for that. Got a tutorial for that one. And then here we've got some other little cardboard figurines that I made. So a dragon head, baby Groot, which is, I think, my favorite one. A knight and a dragon. And that is everything on that shelf. With the exceptions of one or two things that I've shown before. But... That's it. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. If there's anything you on there you want to see me make, leave a comment and I'll do a tutorial on it. Until next time, see ya.